Erev Tov, my name is Avram White, and I'm the director of the Emunah's Family Therapy Center here in Jerusalem. We're actually one of 13 centers throughout the country. We're about 100 therapists, each with a, a second degree in the field of mental health. We provide individual couples as well as family therapy, support groups, helping parents with their kids at all different ages. And with the war, with the trauma that's happened here in Israel, um, we've really stepped up and I've, I've just been so moved by the, the sense of mission of our therapists to really provide emotional and mental first aid to the to really hundreds and thousands of Israelis and who are, who are experiencing trauma, trauma individually, collectively, as well as intergenerationally. Um, unfortunately, we, we lost a therapist, a therapist on our staff, Niti Vot, was killed in the beginning of the war. And two days ago, a, our former director of the Tel Aviv office, her son was killed on the, on the border of Lebanon. I want to share with all of you um, the, the way we're understanding what's unfolding here from a therapeutic standpoint is basically two phases, two stages. The first is the one which we're still very much in is the state of trauma and trying to help people to function, to, to build resilience um, helping, we, we've opened up hotlines both for our 3,500 Emuna employees, but as well as for across the nation, across the country, for those who've been evacuated, for those wives who've and mothers who've had their their husbands and their sons called up, close to I think 450,000 called up to to active duty, um, and that's really the first stage. The second stage, the second phase. In the coming weeks, in the coming months, is when we're going to really begin to do the, the deep therapy, which is probably most likely going to be several days a week, really helping people with this complex trauma, right? Really re rehabilitate, rehabilitating. And this is something that goes from six months up until two years. And in terms of the needs that we have that are coming up, that we've been able to identify, the first most urgent one is that in our Niti Vot therapy center, there's a need for an elevator as well as for a safe room. There's also going to be a need, as I alluded to, for additional subsidized therapy hours. There's going to be a need for training and retraining and deeper training of our therapists, as well as hiring new therapists onto our staff to, to be able to really meet the growing needs of the trauma that's affected so many different parts of Israeli society. These therapists who've who are dealing with and seeing so much, there's a, th uh, a phenomenon of, of secondary traumatic stress. And there's going to be some of them that are going to also need their own therapy to be able to put the pieces together and to be able to move on and to continue to help. And lastly, there's going to be a need for opening up of several new centers, especially in Ashkelon, which was tremendously hit in this war. Um, and, and centers that are not only conventional therapy, but really the model of alternative therapy uh, hand in hand, really in tandem with the conventional therapy. You know, before before I, I say goodbye, I wanted to just, you know, I, I know in, in, in North America, in the States and in Canada, um, a lot of you who are so supportive and connected to what's going on here, some of you who have family and friends here are experiencing stress and fear and maybe a sense of helplessness and anxiety. I want to offer one technique. There's lots of different te techniques out there. But one technique is the, the idea that our marriage, our relationship is a major resource. Our spouse, our relationship is a major resource. And something that I do with couples as a couples therapist is what I like to call the sort of state of the union. And it's a chance for each of us. We try to do it on a, ideally on a daily basis, even for just a few minutes to be able to make space and time for one another, to sort of just share where we're at, whatever that might mean. A chance to just to let out what, what's going on with us, our feelings, our thoughts. It's coming that we're, each of us are in our own world so overwhelmed and, and preoccupied with what's going on. And so this technique is one, again, what I call state of the union of where, our matz of ruach, where we're at. Chance for couples, for husband and wife, to be able to to really find time to just share what is going on and to actively listen and to try to understand and to be present for the other person. 
because really our marriage is a tremendous resource where we have that's going to help us through this time. And the last thing I want to state very, very briefly, I know my time's running out, is that, you know, they say in Israel, it's a little stam. It's not coincidence. Each of us, myself and each of you who are listening to this, to this video, here we are at this point in Jewish history, and there's a reason for it. There's a little stam. It's not by coincidence. And I think it asks each of us to realize that we have a shlichut, we have a mission here. There's a reason we were born and are living at this very time, at this very, very critical and vital time in the history of the Jewish people, of the state of Israel. And so I want to invite each of you to, to connect with and to think about what is my role? What can I do here at this very important moment? And I want to invite each of you to help us, to support us and our therapists, our 100 therapists, who are really on the front lines of providing emotional and mental help to Israeli society, to support us and to join us. Because the, 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 the time, and there's never been more of a need than now, really on an existential level. So I want to thank you for your support. Chizku v'imtsu, we should be strong. And B'zat Hashem, we're, we're going we're gonna to move forward. And we're going to become stronger from this. Thank you.